So this glorious piece of tractor jewelry. Welcome back everyone, Red Zero Two here. We got a little bit of excitement going on. I got a new laptop uh, last Black Friday, I believe. So the GoPro is at 2.7K recording right now. So hopefully this works out. We're gonna do the new laptop can handle 4K, but on the Hero 7, the hyper smooth stabilization is not um, supported on 4K. So 2.7K it is. We're gonna see what this video looks like. The garage is getting clean. I know it doesn't look like it, but we're about to pull two very important tractors in here and start working on them. So, let's go get the Mud, mud Dynamark started. It's got a broken uh, 820 case, and then let's bring in Truffles as well, my new tractor that uh, I don't believe any of you guys have seen yet, unless you follow my Facebook page, Red02. Um, but let's go get them. So this poor girl has been sitting out here in the yard since Perry and bust up case. It should run. And then truffles. So you guys have seen this uh, most recently on the 2022 Top Tractor Challenge Series uh, piloted by Andy Manfred also built by him but we'll get in the garage Got the mud dynamark over here, pulled truffles over. So the mud dynamark needs obviously a carb clean now that it don't want to run. But I blew the case some point at Paradise, Ohio, back in November, I believe. But we're gonna get the mud dynamark pulled in, gonna get a new transaxle case put in there. And then I got some really special parts from Creepy Crawler. It's a super fancy disc brake setup to work on an 820. Uh, big shout out to Creepy Crawler. You guys all know him. If not, go check out his channel. He sent me them parts months, months ago. Last year. Big, big sorry, Tom, but I'm getting to it. I've been running this 820 for three years now, four years, and this is what the bottom of the case looks like from uh, bouncing off rocks and stuff like that. Now with this brake, this looks like a interior wound that come out, but the transaxle ran and drove. I didn't even know that this happened until the next morning whenever I went to load up the tractor, but I figured out what happened. Can you tell what happened? So there's a, so this piece would go right there. There's a groove. There's what seems to be a little indent right there and unfortunately coming over looking over here there's an indent right there on the bull gear and there's another little indent right there 
I pulled the casing apart yesterday. And I found this. This is a shifter detent ball. The smaller steel ball is a shifter detent ball. This smaller ball was in the shifter. Right down in that hole with the spring underneath it to detent my shift pattern. This bigger one came out of that casing. So what ended up happening is whenever I took this apart to fix my uh, bull gear carriers that ripped up, I must have dropped, oh, just like that. I must have dropped this shifter ball down into the case and I did not notice it. So what ended up happening is, which is pretty wild is I rode this at the, I got one first place with this axle together at um, Brown Jug, I believe. The NECXC racing series. And then went to Paradise and it lasted that long. So what ended up happening is this ball rolled back under right to here got picked up right there you can see that tooth is shattered there's a little bit of an indentation right there uh, and whenever it come down it popped out the casing um, so yep yeah, self-sabotage I did it to myself so there goes an 820 casing that I ruined but I have 820s all down in there so we'll get her fixed up we'll get her back together and we'll get the mud dynamark up and moving again got some excitement I'm not a hat person but I had super clean send me a purple and white hat and uh it was a lighter purple than this one so I forcefully traded my dad for his purple and white super clean hat Love this hat. Now I am a hat person, but <clears throat> Truffles is back up on all four feet, tripping over hubs and stuff, but we have a locked 633A in there and we are working on the mud dynamark. I got new parts. So this is the bull gear plate. I've been following uh, Stretch on YouTube uh, part of the Morons but this is the way he does his lockers for the 820s and this is similar to the EC carburetors racing mower transmission locker for the peerless 820 they can that kit comes with aluminum new aluminum plates with a keyed um, plate here and so I just take the original one bore it out and then broach a quarter inch keyway in there but as you can see, I'm running into issues with splitting this hub because there's not a lot of meat left there. So version 2.0. So this meaty bad boy of goodness is going to fix these issues. So as you can see the difference here, I'll pop this off. And of course it's stuck. And uh, we don't want to show you that just yet. So we'll flip it over. But... As you can see the difference, there's a big ring on the new plate. So basically a reinforcement collar was press fit onto here, broached the keys, plates are all ready. But here's where it gets even interest, more interesting is we have an internal um, hub here as well. So this, you're gonna have these spacers on either side of this hub basically this was a i think this was a one of those three jaw couplers and with the you get the rubber thing in the middle but <coughs> so this is basically my rendition of a dock locker almost so sprockets garage on youtube he's come up with the dock locker basically he uses bores out these plates to one inch they're seven eighths from factory and then he takes one of these pulley hubs and he grinds 
a channel here to use a very large piece of key stock that goes on either end in the factory bull gear. Well, I went a little bit different route. So what I did is I had this hub machined out for the factory spider gear pin. And then what I went ahead and did is I cut that pin in half so that way it does not show on the inside of the hub so the axle can slip through. And then all I had to do is I ended up putting a little piece of a, a uh, snap ring. It was the perfect space. So I can use the factory little blocks, the factory pin, and instead of not only having, I believe if I remember correctly from my measurements today, that with both these hubs, that was inch and three quarter of keyway engagement, which was ripping these. Now, not only am I gonna have the inch and three quarters, I believe if I remember correctly, that this hub is, slides in like that, is inch and three eighths thick. So we're gonna have a total of three and an eighth of an inch of key engagement. Now this, held up to a built Vanguard sitting on the shelf there. I gotta get dig back into that. But roughly estimate 40 horsepower, not sure on the torque numbers, but held up to that. These are the second plates that I've torn. So this is my next rendition on how to lock a Peerless 820. So I'm gonna put this back together and Hopefully we have no more diff issues and then we'll start finding different weak links. Maybe this time I won't leave a second ball bearing in there to grenade the case. Okay, I had him putting his diff together. I got the hub lock tighted on there with two set screws in it. This side is on. Just going to slide this spacer. And then we're going to put a key in here and put the other half on. The keyways area is a little bit screwed up, but I've already swapped it over from this side whenever the last hubs broke. So I'm hoping with this extra key in the middle, it'll be just fine. If not, it's my fault because I'm being cheap and don't want to buy a new axle. These deluxe flex proof axles have, I believe I paid like... 45 bucks for this like five years ago six years ago sheesh these things are almost like 70 bucks now and i'm just being a cheapskate so if it breaks again totally my fault but it's getting back together i'm getting excited my dynamark's gonna be playing here soon so this glorious piece of tractor jewelry is from yours truly creepy crawler this is a wheel hub with a brake rotor attachment all in one. He made this stuff. This is his prototype for an 820 brake kit. Um, so this is two different four bolt patterns. These will have to get drilled out and studs poked through. And these are five bolt hubs. So the way he made it is you got six bolts eight bolts darn it i didn't get enough bolts but eight bolts to change out these plates depending on what bolt pattern you have and then your stud patterns so you get three different stud patterns this is what's going on the mud dynamark so we can finally have brakes it uses a ninja 250 brake caliper and master cylinder i'm gonna have to get a longer brake hose and i'm gonna have to make a new brake caliper mount for the dynamark because it is different than what he set it up with but this is the other other hub it does not have the brake stuff on it so let's get her on absolutely huge huge appreciation and shout out to creepy crawler uh, Tom for sending me this brake kit The wheels had to be flipped inside out 
and they actually look super super uh what's the word not industrial but maybe that's the word i'm looking for with the eight allen head bolts holding the hub on but kawasaki ninja 250 caliper brake rotor his whole homemade hubs they have interchangeable plates that will go to they got to be drilled out but these are five on four and a half they'll bolt up or this has four on four and four by 100 or 110 bolt pattern can't remember but with a little bit of modifications i originally had it all the way out here and it was you had to put all your pressure on there and then whenever i pressed on here the side panel would flex because this is only like 14 gauge steel so one by quarter there um i ain't gonna take the hood off with one hand right now but the brake reservoir is up there so the first time since i, I had to make a whole new brake caliper bracket he had this set up for a uh, custom chassis almost and it just did not work out with the dynamark chassis it tried putting the caliper up into this corner but for the first time i think i got this for my 12th birthday i think i'm going to be 29 this year i think this is the first time that the mud dynamark has had working brakes that were actually usable super excited Thanks, creepy crawler. 